So Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis is lifting all COVID-19 restrictions on businesses as hospitalizations in his state are, da are down about 76% from their peak, and he says there's no signs of a second wave anytime soon. Do you think this is the right move, despite Dr. Fauci's objections? I think DeSantis is courageous and heroic, and the best thing about it is that he did it, um, even though the death uh, data is actually ambiguous, you're right, relative to, to the population, you know, it looks good, but still it's, it's not... It's not as if the viruses are completely suppressed in Florida, but what he began to realize under the influence of Martin Kuhldorf and Jay, uh, uh, um, sorry, I forgot the other scientist's name, but, uh, and, and, um, and several other scientists, he realized that there's no connection between lockdowns and disease mitigation. He realized that you should begin to treat a disease as if uh, it's a medical problem, not a political problem. And so he opened up anyway, he, and he even slightly expressed some regret for having locked on in the first place. So I very much approve of Ron DeSantis. As for uh, as for Fauci, this, you're exactly right, he's never met a lockdown that he doesn't love. And in, in fact, that clip that you played, if you continue to play it, he went on to say that we need to lock down even more all over the country as we're moving into the winter season because the pathogen is still out there. This is a prescription for totalitarianism. I think, I think Fauci is, is, if anything, crazier than he's ever been. He's actually become a, a dangerous, a dangerous a despot, advocate, advocate of despotism, yes. I'm right there with you because we saw Dr. Fauci in that clip. He was saying that opening bars, for example, that, that was a very terrifying thing in his opinion, very concerning, was the phraseology that he used because he says community spread, that that will be a big player. However, we see in Nashville real, real results there because the mayor's office lied and they covered up the numbers from bars and restaurants to their contract tracing because they realized that that wasn't the big super spreader that they thought it was. And so they had to somehow tell the American, or sorry, the city's people you know, they had to justify why they had bars and restaurants locked down, but they couldn't. So they just hid the numbers, omitted it, and they just kept doing what Dr. Fauci did, this bland, super spreading. Everyone's going to die if we go there just to get people away from that issue. And also returning to Florida, we see they had half as many deaths as New York, but about the same size population. They have an, an older population as well. And yet Dr. Fauci says that New York handled it well, that they were the model that we should have all followed. And however, we see in the Big Apple, Mayor uh, Bill de Blasio, he's saying, for example, the dining, indoor dining might not even resume until next summer. Whereas we see, like we're just talking about uh, in Florida, DeSantis is reopening that all right now. So do you think it's That's even right. feasible to keep these businesses so locked down in New York City? Will there be a boiling point? Oh, I, th I think it's a, a crime against human rights. And, and, you know, the fact that de Blasio is the greatest enemy that New York has ever faced. I mean, he's tearing the city apart. New Yorkers are suffering so much. They're desperate to get out. Even the people who've loved and lived in New York for several generations are starting to despair. The streets are empty. The businesses are going bankrupt. It's hard to um, believe that one or two people could have done this to the civilization that took us hundreds of years to, to build up, but that is de Blasio. He should go down in history as a Joker-style wrecker of a, of a great civil, uh, civilization. And and for what reason? You know, I had heard this morning that cases were going up, so I went over to the Worldometer and looked up uh, New York cases. I mean, they've been they've been flat since since April, and deaths, you know, hardly there at all. But here's the point. Uh, even if, it, if cases were going up, cases are different from deaths. You know, cases are highly dependent on these PCR tests, and uh, that they, they don't. And, and most of the population is not vulnerable to any kind of uh, fatality from from COVID nineteen. The CDC keeps updating its numbers for people under sixty who are healthy. It it approaches zero, zero, almost zero in terms of its risk to uh, mortality. So I don't know. People like Fauci, uh, Cuomo, de Blasio, um, these people are spreading fear and doom. Um, why? Just to promote some sort of strange lockdown despotism that is radically un-American and against the Bill of Rights and the Constitution.